Jose was gay political power when we didn't even know what it was. If you asked Jose why he ran for public office in 1961, he will tell you, I was tired of being treated like a second class citizen. The world isn't a thing so lovely that it can put a girl to She brazenly shame. took on the establishment behind the doors of a bar and restaurant called the Black Cat Cafe. I changed the Black Cat by my pushing of the homosexual. I found out that most of the people coming there were closeted people. I could not understand this because I've never lived a double standard life. At the end of every concert, he would have everybody in the room stand. We'd put our arms around each other and we would sing, God save us Nelly Queens. We were really not saying, God save us Nelly Queens. We were saying, we have our rights too. When the city vowed to shut down the gay bars, Jose moved his fight to the voting booth. They said, you can't run for office, you're gay. They ain't gonna let you. And I said, watch me. He was the first openly gay person to run for public office in 1961, 11 years before Harvey Milk. I told City Hall there's 10,000 voting queens in the city of San Francisco, and I'll prove it. I got 7,000 votes. From that moment on, no one ran for office without knocking on the door of the gay community. After the Black Cat closed, Jose reinvented himself by proclaiming herself Empress One Jose, founder of the International Court System, which has since raised millions of dollars for AIDS and other charities. Jose continued being a pioneer in the LGBT movement. He's the only one that can fix a wig that I can turn it around in any position. <laughs> I run into many opportunities where I need protection. Two minutes, Jose. Ah! The condom. Don't leave home without it. Jose gave me that self-confidence of accepting who I am and if I want to wear drag or go out in women's clothing one day that I I can do that and be proud of it. God save us. For six decades, Jose fought for our right to love who we choose. And more importantly, he fought for our divine right to love ourselves. And I, God save us.